Bananas are berries. Strawberries aren't. In the fascinating world of botany, it turns out that some of the simplest questions about our everyday foods have the most surprising answers. Consider, for instance, the humble banana and the beloved strawberry, two fruits we all know and love. But here's a twist, in the botanical sense, bananas are actually berries, while strawberries are not. How can this be? This is a story of scientific classification, evolutionary quirks, and the unexpected truth behind some of nature's most familiar foods. Our journey begins with understanding what makes a berry a berry. In everyday language, the word berry conjures images of small, juicy fruits, blueberries, raspberries, and, yes, strawberries. Yet in the strict terms of botanical science, a berry is a type of simple fruit that comes from a single ovary and has three specific layers, an outer skin, or exocarp, a fleshy middle, or mesocarp, and an innermost layer, the endocarp, that encloses the seeds. Most importantly, berries are produced from a flower with a single ovary and contain multiple seeds embedded within their flesh. Armed with this botanical definition, let us turn our gaze to the banana, a fruit often associated with tropical jungles and healthy snacks, rather than with scientific curiosity. The banana plant bears flowers that fit the botanical criteria for a berry. It has a single ovary from which the fruit develops, and as the fruit ripens, the three characteristic layers form. The banana's familiar yellow skin is the exocarp, the soft, edible part is the mesocarp, and the tiny seeds found inside are, indeed, the remains of the original plant seeds, though these seeds are much reduced and not functional in the common bananas we eat today. Despite its unassuming appearance, the banana's status as a berry is unquestionable by botanical standards. It is produced from one ovary, develops three distinct layers, and carries seeds inside its flesh. Although those seeds may not be immediately visible to the casual eye, are thanks to centuries of cultivation that have bred bananas to be nearly seedless, the botanical truth holds firm. The banana is a true berry. So, what about the strawberry? If bananas qualify as berries under the botanical definition, shouldn't strawberries, small, juicy, and packed with seeds, qualify as well? The answer, however, is not so straightforward. To understand why, we need to dive into the structure of the strawberry and how it develops. Unlike the banana, the strawberry does not develop from a single ovary. In fact, it doesn't develop from the ovary at all. Instead, it forms from the flower's receptacle, the part of the flower that supports the ovary. When you look at a strawberry, you are not actually seeing the fruit in the botanical sense. What you're seeing is a swollen receptacle that has grown into the red, fleshy structure we associate with the fruit. The true fruits of the strawberry are the tiny, seed-like structures dotting its surface. Each of these tiny dots is called an akin, and each akin is actually a small fruit that contains a seed. This unique growth pattern places the strawberry in a completely different category from the banana. Because the strawberry forms from multiple ovaries on a single flower and not from a single ovary, it is classified as an aggregate fruit rather than a berry. Aggregate fruits form from the merging of several small fruits, which develop from the multiple ovaries of a single flower, all growing together into a collective structure. Hence, despite its name, its appearance, and its culinary usage, the strawberry is not a true berry at all. The case of the strawberry highlights the fascinating divergence between culinary language and botanical classification. In everyday parlance, the word berry describes a variety of small, edible fruits that don't necessarily conform to the botanical criteria. Blueberries and cranberries, which do meet the scientific definition of berries, share the title with false berries like blackberries, raspberries, and, of course, strawberries, even though these latter fruits are not true berries in the botanical sense. The culinary world often adopts terms based on appearance, flavor, and tradition, leading to this colorful patchwork of terminology that may not always align with scientific precision. Yet there are more surprises waiting as we explore this curious classification. Take, for instance, other fruits that are botanically considered berries. 
Alongside bananas, some unexpected members of the berry family include kiwis, grapes, and even tomatoes. Yes, the tomato, long debated as a fruit or vegetable, is also classified as a berry because it develops from a single ovary and features the three characteristic layers of a true berry. Conversely, fruits we casually think of as berries, like blackberries and raspberries, are categorized as aggregate fruits, much like strawberries, because they consist of many small droplets clustered together rather than being derived from a single ovary. Even more intriguing is that pepper berry, a botanical term for fruits such as peppers, which we seldom think of as berries. Like bananas and tomatoes, peppers are botanically considered berries because they develop from a single ovary, have three layers, and contain seeds. Such findings remind us that the natural world often defies our conventional expectations. The story of why bananas are berries and strawberries are not invites us to reconsider how we classify and perceive the foods around us. It also illuminates the broader history of plant evolution and cultivation. The classifications that define berries, droops, aggregate fruits, and other botanical terms are rooted in the ancient processes of plant reproduction and adaptation. These distinctions may not always align with how humans have chosen to use and name plants, but they tell a deeper story about the biological strategies that have shaped the fruit-bearing plants we rely on. Bananas, for example, have a history that stretches back thousands of years, with early cultivators selecting for fruit with smaller seeds and thicker flesh. Over time, human cultivation has shaped the banana into its modern form, where the seeds are so small they are barely noticeable, yet the plant's berry-like origins remain clear to those who look closely. Similarly, strawberries have been cultivated for their size and sweetness, with selective breeding emphasizing the enlargement of the receptacle rather than any true botanical fruit. As we savor a ripe strawberry or peel back the skin of a banana, we may not give much thought to whether these familiar foods meet botanical definitions. Yet understanding the distinctions that separate a berry from an aggregate fruit enriches our appreciation of nature's complexity. These fruits remind us that, beneath their everyday appearances, they hold stories that stretch back through millennia of evolution and human intervention. So, as we marvel at the delicious diversity of the plant world, let us not be deceived by appearances. In nature's garden, the lines are not always as clear-cut as they seem. The tale of why bananas are berries and strawberries are not serves as a reminder that the world of plants is full of surprises, ripe for discovery, just waiting for us to peel back the layers.